Brother Ramon, welcome to Conversations. It's wonderful to, to share and explore the journey of faith that we share. Um, were, you, were you called to faith from a youth or did you come to Christ later in your life? Well, later in my life, yeah, about uh, when I was uh, 22 years old, I was baptized. And at that uh, time, I came to the ministry immediately. I uh, abandoned my medicine studies and to go to study the, the ministerial pastoral training yeah. and uh, change my life, oh, absolutely. Oh. And since then, you've served in many years of ministry. More than 40 years. More than 40 years. Yes. Yeah. And what were some of the roles that you were involved in? Well, usually I have been pastor in mm. several churches in mm. Mexico, and I was uh, overseers in the Northeast to a state in Mexico, and I have been president of the church in Mexico for more than 12 years. And right now, uh, I am living in Dallas, Texas, and I am still working as uh, president of the International Ministerial Congress for many, many years. Mm, mm. Just uh, after Robert Coulter was the founder and first president of the International Ministerial Congress in 1978. Mm, mm. Then uh, Brother Jerry Griffin was for four years president, and then myself mm. from, uh, I think, uh, 1994 mm. in Corpus Christi session mm. of the IMC. Mm. Mm -hmm. And over those years, you've seen the International Ministerial Congress grow. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the composition of the Congress? Well, uh, at the beginning, we start with uh, 11 members, mm -hmm. just 11 countries, mm -hmm. in 1978. But uh, with God's help uh, and working very hard, mm -hmm. right now we are about uh, 60 countries around the world. Mm -hmm. We have... Uh, church in five continents and this is because our people hard, hard, uh, works very hard yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so so what is some of the work within the Congress that's happening at the moment well we are trying to to get a better administration work we are calling people to help us mm. because uh, the work is very hard and there is a lot of work. Mm, mm. So we, we need a better organization, better administration. And that uh, is why we are uh, looking for, uh, for people. And we have a lot of people mm. uh, working with us right now. Mm. At the beginning, just uh, were a few. But right now, we have more than, I don't know, 30 or 35 people involved in the International Ministerial mm. Congress work. Over those years that you've now served as president, what's been the greatest joy as you have a holistic oversight of the International Ministerial Congress? What's brought you the greatest sense of reward? Well, um, I should say that uh, the fellowship of the, of the people around the world Whenever we go, we, same, the, the, we, we, we find the same, you know, people very lovely and together uh, serving the God. Mm. And, and our, our treasure, our more important treasure is the people for me. Uh, I enjoy uh, as well our understanding uh, biblical Mm. points. Mm. We have a very, very good hermeneutic. Yeah, I, I have studied in an interdenominational seminar for, for many years, and uh, looking back, I can see that uh, our doctrinal creed is very, very good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and there is a lot of uh, things, there are a lot of things that we enjoy, for example, uh, we are very different people around the world, but uh, uh, we maintain the united, mm, all the people, mm, yes. Mm, mm. And that mm -hmm. unity. The unity. Something becomes like family, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Within that family environment and the church community, what are the greatest challenges that you see and the personal challenges that you've experienced? Well, uh, I think to maintain this unity. Okay because the Bible told us uh, about unity in, in all pages. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and the model for this unity is the, the unity between Jesus and God. This is the example, the paradigm. So we need to, to be only one. Uh, doesn't matter what language you speak or how color is your thing or you know, uh, culture or uh, economic situation. We are only one in Jesus Christ. It's easy to say, but it's difficult to, to maintain this unity. And the, the other challenge for me is establish the church in those countries with uh, uh, all, all countries' participation, in those countries uh, where we don't have any, 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 any contact. Mm. We are talking about more than 100 uh, countries. So I have a dream uh, to establish uh, at least uh, one congregation, a strong congregation in every country around the world. Mm. Mm. And this is one of the principal object, uh, objectives of the mm. IMC. Mm. Mm. The other one is uh, maintain the, the unity, doctrinal yeah. unity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have a, within the International Ministerial Congress, a 10-point vision mm -hmm. that is helping articulate our collective journey together. Do you mm -hmm. want to make any comments about the 10-point vision? Well, we are trying, we are trying to, to share this vision of 10 points around the world. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a very, you know, uh, uh, form to, to, to learn fast about the principal aspect as we as Christian must know very well. Mm -hmm. For example, we, we need to know very clear that we are uh, centered in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus Christ is the center, not just the Bible and the, and the church, is the center of, of things. So uh, this is one example. I, I can, I can uh, say, for example, that uh, we are a church uh, with, uh, uh, you know, enjoying the, the Holy Spirit. Mm, mm. We are a family, mm, mm. And, and we know that the Holy Spirit is the presence of God and Jesus Christ in our heart mm, mm. To, to, you know, encourage to go all these countries to mm, preach mm. the gospel. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, well received, this uh, old teaching yeah. about the Ten Point Vision, mm. wherever we go. What encouragement would you give for somebody wanting to, to serve within the body of Christ, within the International Ministerial Congress? Is there anything that you'd like to pass on from your experience? Well, um, talking about the encourage, mm. uh, well, as I say, I think uh, we need to work hard uh, in the evangelism uh, programs and uh, pastoral training for better education. Mm. Uh, fortunately, we have uh, many, many pastors with uh, a lot of knowledge, well, well education, and we are called all of them to, to teach our people that uh, maybe they don't uh, have the opportunity to go to the seminar, mm. but we can go to teach them and, and, and you know, uh, growing up mm. our education and uh, growing up in, in, in membership, not just in quantity, but in quality. Finally, in our conversation, Brother Ramon, is there anything in your personal vision that you'd like to, to see for the IMC as we move forward? Well, right now, uh, we are moving to, to, to get a better uh, administration, as I told you. Mm -hmm. I think this is the challenge, because until now, we are uh, international, ministerial congress, but uh, our goal is to have uh, the possibility to, to be a global church mm. with, a, with a global organization. Uh, not, not, to say, not to be the same people because God made us different, each yeah. another, yeah. but to maintain the unity mm. and mm. to share our understanding about the, the uh, principal points of, uh, of, of the Bible. Yeah, yeah. For example, we have a, you know, a, a sentence to, to share 
to all our people around the world. Uh, our church is uh, the people who, who, who keep the Ten Commandments of, of God yeah. and, uh, and have the, the testimony of Jesus Christ. Mm, mm, mm. So this is uh, very important for us. Very encouraging and a, yes. a very exciting future. Yes. Yes. Brother Ramon, thank you very much for your comments. You're and welcome. I pray that God continues to bless and encourage you. you as you serve us within the Congress. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.